know if I killed that guy, but I did because it says return to trader. <laughs> it like blew it all the way off the roof. Oh man, never a dull moment. Alright guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and we have very, very little time to sell. They just did the close and soon message, so let's just um, quickly sell stuff that's that we don't need to repair. Um, so this, 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 uh, that's not, that doesn't matter. It's just not going to give us that much. We really need to try and repair that. We should try and repair that. Uh, let's sell the silver. I really just want to try and get a little bit of space back since we're not going home yet. Thanks for okay, letting me quick, take quick, care quick, of you. Quick, 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 quick. Repair. And tell your friends. Uh, repair. You don't have enough. Oh, we're out of repair. Wait, what? Oh, we need pipes for that. Okay, we'll take care of that later then. Repair. And let's see if we can just get those um, things sold to her. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Sell. Sell and sell. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, we need a pipe for that. We'll worry about that later. I think that was everything I wanted to sell to her. Thanks All for right. letting me take care you're of you. You're welcome. We'll see you in the morning because you you're about ready to kick me out of here. Phew, that was close. Okay. <laughs> we made it by like one one in-game minute there. Trader Joel's is now um, All right, so our plan for this episode, this is the space that I was able to, um, you know, make. So everything in here is completely full. I should have taken the sugar butts, but I didn't think about it. What I, oh, shit, you know, <laughs> I put this on my toolbar and I forgot to equip it. Doggone it. All right, well, you know, whatever. Let's load this too. I never actually confirmed that I have the uh, the thingamadoodle for that. Let's just double check that. So this should be, um, where is it? Magnum Enforcer. Bartering with a 44 drawn gives you 5% better deal. Yeah. Okay. I thought I did, but I wasn't. I wasn't 100% sure. So we just got to remember to to do that when we um, you know, when we're when we're buying and selling. It might take me a couple of times, uh, but hopefully I'll remember to do that. Okay, so we'll find a pipe for this. I don't think there's anything else we can put uh, in the bike at the moment. I guess we can throw those in there. And I think that sets us up. So that doesn't give us a lot of room, but, you know, if worse comes to worse, I'll make a drop chest and come back for other stuff later off camera. So the plan, guys, is that we're going to go um, just into the snow town. We're going to do this tier three clear next, and then we're probably going to go ahead and hit that bookstore as well so let's activate this this one that should be the quest yep and i will see you guys over there all right guys we are here um i guess this is um a business too i wasn't paying attention to that so um which one is this you know it's funny too because we had that that uh, cold weather mod that I decided to keep because I thought I might need it and then I completely forgot to bring it with us. So this is Warehouse, Shotgun Messiah Place. Um, I think the fat loots are on the very top of the Shotgun Messiah, I think. I have done this before, it's just been a while so I can't remember exactly where everything is. Either that or it's on the top of the warehouse. So let's cheese on up there and see if we can figure out what what it is. Ooh, we got irradiated up here. Yeah, I, I think it is up here. Okay, let's do this. There's a landmine right there. Hey, you know what? I think we can get steel off of these 
solar panels. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh let's do that first. Where is my impact driver? Oh shit, did I leave my impact driver back down to the bike? I did. Dog on it. Oh, uh, alright. Well, let's just find the fat loots and then maybe I'll run up here really quick off camera. Or pause the recording rather to, to get that. Are we supposed to go down here? Because I think so, because I the path comes that way. And then pretty sure we're supposed to come down here. Or is it the other way around? Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I do remember that now. I did this POI once or twice in Alpha 18. Okay, let's see what we got. Parts. Oh, beautiful. We need that for our sniper rifle. Um, am I wearing luckies? I sure am. Okay. Oh, uh, that was a nice find. So let's go ahead and modify this. And we will switch out for the 8x scope. Love it. Very nice upgrade for our sniper rifle. Whoa. A little laggy. Looking out that way. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we'll just sell that. Or put it on... Oh, nice. Uh, we'll use... I mean, we could sell this for some decent coin, but I might want to keep the shotgun parts as pins. Now, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to hang on to it for now. That's what it boils down to. Let's unlock this thing. All right, pretty decent stuff. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back down to the bike, drop all this stuff off. I'm having the my frame my frame issue again. Fuck. That is so frustrating. All right, we got to go back down to medium graphics again. It's the only thing I can do to get it to to uh quit screwing up. Okay, our frames are back. So our textures aren't going to be as good this time, but what the hell is an old guy to do, right? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the bike, drop all this stuff off, come back up to this roof with my impact driver and harvest those solar panels. And then um, uh, then we will start the quest and do it uh, properly. All right, guys, so apparently you don't get steel off of solar panels. I thought you did, but uh, I took all four of those apart and not a single one of them gave me any steel. So I don't know if they changed that, or maybe I was just mistaken and you never could in the first place. I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. So let's put... I Notice I put a drop chest down. We're just going to have to because uh, we just got too much stuff. Okay, let's do this. Tier 3 clear. Yeah, look at all the... Oh, I guess that's not a ton of cobble. I, I was thinking there was a lot more in here. Um, and you know what, too, guys? I don't think I'm going to um, do basic looting let's just clear the place um and you know get the more valuable stuff and then i'll probably come back through here off camera to get the more basic stuff um, because i would also if we can i would like to uh hit the bookstore in this episode too so yeah we'll leave you know all that basic stuff for now and we'll come back to get it later there's a zombo Get him lined up on the door. A hole in the floor. Oh, right. I remember this place. Yeah, that's right. This is Shoddy Messiah. Let's grab this. We might find something good in her, like antibiotics. Wasn't there a safe or something behind this counter, or am I just imagining things? Equipment rack. Ooh. All right, let's leave that stuff there. It's not super valuable. 
And let's check here, see if there's any cop. Oh. Zeke Aruski. I will take that. Alright, let's jump down here. I remember coming down here once in Alpha 18. I jumped down here and a, a cop zombie like busted out of somewhere and just scared the crap out of me. But it doesn't look like he's down here now. All right, let's go. I think that wolf's outside. I hope that's not a dire wolf. Boy, there's a lot of bodies in here, man. Get a shit ton of bones. I might come in back in here and clear clear them out too. Later. Yeah, see decent I think there's overall a decent amount of cobble and concrete in this place. There's a safe. Let's check that. Because that could have something. Oh. That's not a real safe. Interesting. It's not lootable. What happens if you try and take it apart? What? <laughs> Those are blocks painted like a safe. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Weird. And it sucks, too, because I wanted to loot it. What the hell, man? All right, let's just keep moving here. That's the room we jumped down into. Oh, crap. Is that a dire wolf? I think it is. All right, here. Let's... Oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't think he was going to break through that fast. Damn. Oh, man, that scared the hell out of me. Okay. We're fine. It's all good. Let's just pop one of these. Holy crap. I found I had a couple more seconds to get a, a, a wood block down and, you know, uh, get it upgraded. Let's get out our machete. Our lucky machete. And we might as well harvest him, eh? All right. Let's keep moving here. Leave the basic stuff. Might be something in here worthwhile. Y five O is showing us where to go. Is that other guy? Yeah, he bailed down off the head. I don't think there's anything super valuable in here. We'll get the brass and all that later. There could be a wall safe or a floor safe, but I'm not seeing it. So let's just keep moving here. Guess we have to go out this way. Fall down. Fall down, go boom. He's got to be feral, man. Holy crap. Yep, he certainly was. Oh! Oh! 
need coffee in here. No, let's leave all that stuff too, just because we're trying to conserve space. I'm gonna take that. The warts fixed up and so on. Any safes behind here? Don't see anything. Oh! Twelve hundred XP for that guy. I think we're gonna probably start seeing some of them on Horde Night. In fact, what is our Ah, we're we're over ninety one, so we are now at game stage four. That's probably why we're starting to see um all of the irradiateds. So yeah, we're definitely gonna see irradiates on Horde Night now. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so fun. Alright, so are we supposed to go down here or Up and around this way. I think we're supposed to go down here. I heard somebody else. Yeah, there's someone in here. Okay. Ah, this is the place that has all the concrete and stuff in it. I knew... I figured there was a place, but I couldn't... wasn't sure until now. That's a lot of Zeekers. Let's get them lined up here. <laughs> Come on! I'm right here. Nasty. Um, oh, let's take those three things. I don't care about the dress shoes. It's day 34. Okay, looks like we need to go up that ladder. Any buzzards? Okay, we know we're gonna get some buzzards over here. Maybe we can do our little explosive trick again. Turn that off. So, okay. That's just a Hawaii 5.0. I'm not seeing an irradiated. Oh, there's the irradiated. Okay, so he's the one we want to soften up with these. Oh, it went down in the hole, damn it. That one went over the edge. Come on, game. There we go. I killed that guy, but I did because it says return to traitor. <laughs> the roof. Oh man, never a dull moment, you guys, never a dull moment. Okay, let's go get the fat loots. <laughs> we don't have a lot of room in here. Um, light, 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 light. Oh, that was good. That was good. Okay, bust them open. Man, that irritates me about the graphics. Okay. Um, this, this, this scrap. That's, um, that's better than what we have. Okay, we'll take it. 
we uh we need to do something about room. Okay, so let's drink this because it's not cold out right now. Um, we're just gonna have to get rid of scrap iron for now. It's just not a high priority. We don't need fat. We don't really need bones. I mean, bones are nice to have, but at this point, priorita prioritization is important. Um, we definitely could use some food. So let's eat that, and we'll eat this, and we'll save the whatever this is, chicken ration for later. We're not scrapping. Um, what else? What else? Five pieces of paper we can part with. Let's just see uh, how we can do with that. We, we did check that, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's our... No, actually, I think we, do, we did get another robotic sledge turret earlier. But I can't use it at the same time as I can... I use my, um... The robotic turret, and I, I want to use that for buzzards on Horde Knight. All right, guys, well, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of just drop stuff off, and then we're going to go right across the street to this bookstore and go run through that really quick. I might come back here later and get some of this loot, or I might not. I'm not going to make any promises one way or the other. We'll just have to see how things go, particularly because, you know, we're so far away from home. It's probably not really going to be worth it for us to do that. So this is, uh, oh yeah, this is the same kind of crack book that we did in our own town. Except for this one has bars on the door, the other one didn't. I wonder if they changed that. Huh. Cool. Alright, well here's the deal, guys. I'm just gonna go through, uh, we'll probably time-lapse this, and just check the books, and uh, we'll try and get through it as quickly as possible so that this episode is not too terribly long. Let's do this.
Looks like we made it to the fat loot room, but we have a serious inventory problem. <laughs> oh man. Um, this this bookstore was actually different than uh, the one that's in our town too. It's a different layout. So uh, this was the first time I've actually done this bookstore. And it, in comparison to the other bookstore in our town, it seems like this one is nerfed. I mean, we only found just a handful of of schematics, you know, uh, that we can use, and, oh shit, now what I'm going to do with this, let's, let's dump the acid, I mean, we got stacks of acid back at the base, I hate to do it, but something's got to go, you know, um, so yeah, it looks like they nerfed the bookstore, man, which kind of sucks, I was hoping we would find, oh, there we go, there's something, um, 9mm weapons have 20% more range when using a scope or iron sights, very nice, but yeah, I was hoping we would find a crucible schematic in here. We really could use one of those. Uh, how much is that worth? 176. Let's just leave it there for now. I'm, okay, here's something new. Uh, you can craft shotgun magazine. Oh yes. Actually though, you know what? I mean that's nice to have, but we got the drum mag. So the other thing I could do is just learn all these books and get a, a tiny bit of XP. Ooh, nice just to free up some space. We might do that this time, because, I mean, we're not going to make a ton of money selling this. You know, we're only talking about 100, 150 or so per schematic. So, yeah, let's just read them. We'll get a tiny bit of XP, and it'll free up some space in our inventory. But it does appear... I don't know, maybe I just got unlucky, but I do have lucky looters on. It seems like we didn't get as many schematics, uh, not even close to the n number of readable schematics that we did last time, so not sure what's up with that, but, you know, whatever. Let's pop these guys. And I think we did check this one, right? Yeah. I think that's it. So, yeah, let's look in here. Oh, a nail gun. Very nice. Oh, yeah, that was a nice find. And flashlight mod, and we'll just use that. Okay, let's check the fat loots. Oh, we already did check the fat loots. Okay, this is better than what we're currently wearing, and it's blue. What are we currently wearing? We're wearing greens. Okay, nice upgrade there, too. So let's modify that. Modify. Put those two things on. And uh, we probably have some some um, fittings, customized fitting, fittings mods back at the base, and if we don't, I think I can make them. So that was a nice upgrade too. So we found a nail gun, and we found, uh, we got better um, armor, or gloves, rather. So yeah, not, all in all, not too bad, really. So guys, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and... What are we doing? Oh, we do have a trade-in. I'll meet you over at the trade-in, we'll do that trade-in really quick. Okay, <clears throat> so I repaired everything that we want to sell. Let's go ahead and pop this. Meds? Drugs? Good job. I knew you could do it. Compound crossbow. I think we'll take that. 6,000 XP and 889 Dukes. And then let's just do some quick selling here. Oh, we want to... I couldn't help you. We want to have yeah, this in our time. hand so we get the 5% extra buff. You will give us good prices, Jen. <laughs> okay, uh, Jen's sister, rather. So, let's see. We, we're starting off with 1889. And so let's sell this. Oh, 
I guess I didn't repair everything. Okay, let's, let's sell that to her and that. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Oh, okay, so we want to repair this guy. We want to repair that guy. And this guy. We might as well repair our nail gun whilst we're at it. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all we want to sell to her. Okay, so uh, we, we got 6,000 coin, but we have a bunch more money in the bike and back home too, so... Uh, what I'm looking for more than anything else is steel. Does she have any steel? Yes, she does. We're going to buy all of that from her right now. And then let's, of course, take a look at the actual inventory. Contact grenade, uh, grenade schematic. We'll probably eventually come across that. And I don't use those that much anyway. Um, they certainly are useful, but they're also sort of situational. Sort of situational. Ooh, sniper volume three. Headshots have a chance to stun and greater chance to dismember. Yes, please. We'll take that. Let's look at the normal inventory really quick. Okay, I think we're good to go. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. Let's learn that, and then let's take another job from her. So we want to go to the southwest-ish. We've got a fetch and a clear. That gives us the best. If you do this for me, and it is a I tier three. Will. Oh, I would kiss you, but um, you know. Apocalypse, apocalypse hygiene, hygiene and all. And all. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. Don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out, though. Okay, bye-bye.